DIY Life PO4 batteries. Hello, I'm once I'm from Cebu, and the purpose of this video is to help my wife, my family members, for them to support and troubleshoot my DIY solar whenever I'm not around. Hopefully, this can be part as the reference to configure or troubleshoot my DIY solar setup and also can help other DIYers there on their solar uh, energy in their houses. Unfortunately, on this video, I'll just uh, show you what happened to my battery. It, it was damaged. So I've been using my assembled Life PO4 batteries for around six months. I have two of it. One is still working. So one of my biggest mistake as a DIY uh, in solar setup is that my first assembled battery, I have one here. Actually, it's the same setup. It's in a toolbox with a volt reader, BMS, and active balancer. So one of my biggest mistake is that my first one, it's still working. I bought it on a, this, uh, the same online seller everything all the batteries are the same quality and then i think it's the same age but on my second uh setup i think i was overconfident on buying batteries on a different sellers and what happened is that uh, there's one of it that is that has a low quality and it ha it was damaged earlier than i expect it bloated and was burned out so as you can see it has different <laughs> styles since I bought it on a different seller so that's my biggest mistake and then one of here also is also bloated it's uh, fully there they're beside together when it was being set up so I have here my BMS 100 amperes 24 volts series I have active balancers so i put these batteries inside here uh disregard all these items here uh, it's totally fit on this toolbox all the eight uh, batteries uh, when i try to read the voltage for each batteries this one it's already bloated but i guess i can still use it it still have a reading around three volts and the second one 3.2 3.19 and 2.6 and 2.6 but this one so this one is already bloated but still have a, a batteries I don't know how long will it have its lifespan but still usable this one when I try to read the voltage of it so it's already no reading around two so it's totally damaged i need to replace this one for me to reassemble my life po4 battery so one of my other mistake is that uh we all know that our life po4 batteries has a depth of discharge maybe 20 to 25 percent you want to keep in your batteries my mistake is that whenever my uh, batteries is drained based on its uh, depth of discharge let's say for example uh, 25 percent uh, the inverter is off there's no appliances that is being uh, connected to it but i'm not totally disconnecting my charge controller so say for example here i have a zamdon charge controller so i'm not uh, i'm not uh, making bad words about zamdon but whenever it's connected to my batteries and it's already around 20% or say 25%, if I won't totally uh, disconnect the breakers of my uh, Zamdon towards my, my batteries, uh, say for example, it's uh, 25% during nighttime, during the daytime, it's, uh, it's only 20% or less, maybe 18 or 15%. So it's taking much load from my batteries while it's still connected even though it's not uh, putting some outputs but the device itself is taking a load so it would be uh, advisable 
once your battery is uh, totally drained or it's on a depth of discharge uh, state, say for example, it's already 20% or 25%, it would be better if you totally disconnect your charge controller. Okay, it's still draining your battery and it might, it might cause damage. The same on my end, I'm, I'm thinking that's what happened since in terms of configuration, BMS, active balancer, the way how I wired it, it's the same with my other batteries there. Uh, I think that's the one that uh, damaged it. It's overly drained due to consumption from the charge controller at night time until morning. I uh, still need to replace this one. Hopefully, I can have a video and how to assemble uh, life view for batteries. I made it uh, six months ago and I recently had some videos with my solar setup. I'm already connecting uh, almost all of my appliances except for my air conditioner and some induction uh, appliances. Uh, but my TV, ref, washing machine, uh, they're all connected to my solar. Uh, hopefully that advice will help you. It's a DIY wire and this also help your family members on the things that you need to do with your solar setup. That's it.